<laughs> Start with connect. Well, that's certainly one way to date this this game. Although, not okay. That's weird. I, I see I see a picture of Dory and Hank from Finding Dory, which came out in 2016, and this game, which came out in 2017, which I'm pretty sure is a long time after the connect stopped being relevant. But it's okay. Anyway. Hello and welcome to Rush, a Disney Pixar adventure. Oh, I, okay, let's not. Well, I don't need to watch that. A game which I have known about, sort of, for a while now. I, I've, I've seen it pop up, uh, just on, while browsing game stores. So I, I've always known that it, like, online digital game stores. I've always known it existed, but I don't really know much about it beyond that point. It, it seems like it's just, here's six Disney worlds. For Cars, Toy Story, Incredibles, Ratatouille, Up, and Finding Dory. So, that, that means this game, this game really came out when Finding Dory was already out. And even still, they made the Kinect not only compatible with it, but apparently such an integral part that it was, of you were, you could select it from the outset from the Kinect, or from the main menu, huh? Alright, well, anyway, I believe it's just, here's six Disney worlds, go run through them, experience the adventures there. I don't know if, it's, if there's a connecting, overarching story that links them all together. I don't know if we're just jumping through random worlds. I don't know what's going on, but it, it was on Game Pass, so I figured I may as well download it and give it a shot and see what this game's all about. Select character. Well, let's make a new one in the cyan slot, because light blue slash cyan is best color. Your character, create, default, uh, let's just create. Are you a boy or a girl? I'm a boy. Choose your face. Ugh, oh boy, well, that, this is a great start. This wouldn't happen to be in the game because you could, with the Kinect, you could do, wasn't there a thing there with the Kinect you could scan yourself into, it, like, if, because it had the camera, you could stand in front of it and then it would look at you, and then it can make a character based on what you, is that why this is here? That, <laughs> all right. I'm, ass I'm assuming that's why this is here. And uh, I'll go with that. Let's go! That's me! I got an achievement! A, a, a new me! Complete your first scanning- Ah! I knew it! I knew it! Okay. So, so that, that's why- that is why this is here. You're, you're, you were supposed to scan yourself into the game with the Kinect, but I don't have- I've never owned a Kinect. I- the, from the moment I bought- I, I got the Xbox 360 as a gift all those years ago, I've never owned a Kinect. I've never wanted it. I've never needed it. It's just I is I just don't have a reason to. I have a PlayStation camera for PSVR, but I don't have the Kinect. Just and I recently found out this is a tangent. I recently found out that apparently for Halo Combat of all the anniversary on the 360, it had a Kinect integration, by which I mean you could say grenade or something like that, and it would throw a grenade. Who's gonna do that? Why would you? Why? I don't know. Whatever. I'll just stop ranting. Me as a superhero. Me as an explorer. Me as- Oh my god, okay. Oh. 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 Okay. Interesting. So, three of those look like me. The rest of them- The rest of them are something else. Uh, are all the players ready? Yes. V I have- Oh, I have a VIP pass to Pixar Park. Wait, I have my character in settings. Uh, change me, progression, control- There's leaderboards for this game? Oh, so one of my friends list actually owns this- or has this game via- via- I'm assuming via Game Pass. I, I, I doubt anyone actually bought this game. Okay. Cool. I actually have 
This game has leaderboards. Well, I'm just gonna run to the options real quick to make sure everything's all set and ready to go. I'm gonna turn subtitles on. Oh, I just got... Stay till, stay till the lights come up. Watch the credits without skipping. I did not do that. I clicked in the credits just out of curiosity and immediately backed out. I did not watch the credits without skipping, but okay. Daycare dash, airport insecurity, and dump escape. That's interesting. So they appear to have combined Toy Story 3 and 2 in a very backwards order. We start at the daycare, then we go to Toy Story 2's climax, and then we go to the comics of Toy Story... Alright, interesting. What's in the bonus category? Bunch of stuff we haven't unlocked yet. Makes sense. Assuming you get one per thing finishing level. Okay. Let's stop messing around. Let's let's just play the game. Let's go let's go to Pixar Park with our VIP pass. Eh, that's cool. The four the birds birds are on the top of the Pixar gate. Okay, kid, this is it. Just head down that path there to the playground. Kids are expecting you. Have a great field trip. Oh, hey! First time at the park, huh? Cool! You're gonna love this place. Let's hope so. Okay, so here's something I noticed while I was, uh, in the settings. The... It turn it, it seems like you're only allowed to adjust the... The, the, uh, the inversion for the Y-axis for the camera. And that I can't adjust the X. Like, if I if I do this, I'm assuming it's only going to affect my vertical... Yeah, my... What's the matter? Don't you want to go play with some of the other kids? No, I'm just... It's... I, I don't get this. Like, if you're gonna... If you're gonna have inversion set... I know this is minor, and we've only just started. But, like, if you're gonna have inversion... Because I, I like to play with uninverted Y-axis controls and inverted X-axis X-axis controls for the camera. I don't... It's just, if you're gonna have this, have settings for both, don't just have settings for one. I don't, I don't like that at all. Well, I can make do. Anyway, what I was gonna say is, imagine this being a field trip. A field trip to Pixar Park, or I guess just Pix, a field trip to Pixar Studios would be great. All the kids here are really nice. You can just go right up to them, and they'll invite you to play. It kind of looked like the, the subtitles were being cut off there for a second, but I don't know. To play in the Pixar movie- Thanks. I wasn't reading that. I don't know what you're talking about. I wasn't in the process of reading that at all. Okay, what do we got? We got Up, Toy Story, The Incredibles, Ratatouille, Finding Dory, and Cars. Where should we begin? I mean, the obvious place to start is here, right? I feel, I feel like- You in the mood for some Paradise Falls? I've got an Up adventure I can't wait to play. You know, I gotta be honest, I, I I can't say that I am, to be quite frank. Let's go. Your thing. That place over there is exactly what you're looking for. Well, let me tell you something about me. Let's begin. Daycare Dash. Let's go! I got how could we not start with Toy Story? We 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 we, we were either gonna do it first or last. There, there was there, there was no I'm Tommy. In between. You like Toy Story? Yes. Let me tell you. If you do, you're gonna love this place. I Let's certainly hope so. Toy Story pretend. I'm always Sheriff Woody. And you can be your own toy. Now picture this. We're at Sunnyside Daycare, and Bonnie's real excited because her grandma's coming for a visit. Bonnie wants to show her that she's been taking good care of the family toy Granny gave her. <laughs> <laughs> but Mr. Pricklepants fell out of Bonnie's back. Oh! Oh! Which means... We gotta get him out, out of Sunnyside, Sunnyside and, and into the, the car the before Bonnie and her mom leave for the airport to pick up Grandma. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I hate to do this, but, uh... Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, wouldn't it be so cool if we showed Bonnie taking care of important toys that were given to her by other people? Man, wouldn't that be something? Also, man! I guess Prickle, if we take this as canon to the Toy Store movies, if Prickle Pants is that important to her, then oh boy, howdy, I got some bad news for Granny about who she decided to take with her on the road trip. Oops. Oh well. It's fine. I guess it's not canon. That's how this works, right? Anything that isn't the four, the four Toy Story movies doesn't count as canon? Yeah, okay. Whatever you guys say. We need a plan to get you over that gate. Oh. Well, perhaps if we procured a battery... You're a genius! 
Oh god, I'm timed. Okay, oh, uh, how do I pick things up? Okay, pick up a battery and throw it to Mr. Pickle Pants. Uh, throw. We need batteries pronto. You must, you must help me get to Bonnie before she and her mother depart. You are really good. You know that? Yeah, huh, sure. Okay, I got uh, a coin. Up the speed, deputy. I will say the graphics are better than I expected them to be. Honestly, I, I kind of expected that the graphics wouldn't be, wouldn't be all that great, just going by previous Disney Pixar style games. Wait, why? Well, why are we going this way? Why, why must we go this way? I kind of wanted. Well, there were more coins up where I was going, but it's fine. I'll, I'll follow you, Sheriff Woody. I'll, I will follow you, no, Beta. Oh, I didn't. Okay, I didn't realize we were grabbing his upline. You are looking good. Yeah, I'm actually legitimately really impressed with the. Oh. Boots, legitimately really impressed with the graphics. I mean, they're not like top tier, but they're better than 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 you'd think that they would be. Okay, it's recess time, I suppose. It's also cool that they're, like, obviously sure if Woody is telling you which way you're supposed to go, but it seems like there you do actually have some choice in terms of how, wait, what did that say? Oh, I can sprint? Why did you, you know, game, you might want to tell me these things before I'm, like, seconds away from the finish line. That might, might be something of a good idea. Just, just some food for thought. Maybe don't wait until the absolute last possible second to tell me that I can sprint. Oh, I need a battery again? Okay, uh, battery, battery, battery. Uh, what's this? Here, okay. Uh, am, I, am I pulling? Okay, I'm pulling it. Okay, am I holding it open for you? Or are you gonna stand underneath it? It would appear that it would, it would appear that neither of those things are. Oh. Any ideas? Gee, thanks, Woody. Making me think I had to do it myself. I suppose not. Time to focus. Yeah, I know, Woody. See, I thought I had to hold it open for for Woody. To go through because otherwise why would I be able to interact with it I guess I had to just wait for Woody to, or, or maybe I, I mean maybe me holding it open gave Woody the idea to hold it open for me I don't know thanks Woody I get it I got it what is this God of War Ragnarok I understand what I have to do thanks I get the picture man they sure are taking their sweet ass time okay we're almost there no one will see this. Oh my god. Okay. This is this is some risky business right here. This is some risky business right here. I choose you. You gotta jump, then jump again. Man, we, we really are putting God of War Ragnarok to shame here with some of the, Oh no, not this again. Oh Alright, yep, that was close. Oh, I think there was a jumping road I could have taken to the left. Probably should have done that instead. Because jumping requires no skill. J jumping is you just mash A and then you win. Whereas this I actually have to ba keep myself balanced. We're coming, Bonnie. We're Wait, actually, I don't know how effective the strategy is. Because the goal isn't to get me to Bonnie. I'm just a random robot toy thing. The, the, goal, the goal is to get Mr. Pricklepants to Bonnie. Find a battery to... Okay, okay, launch, uh, something behind me, I assume, yep, sure is, sure is something here. I swear, if you tell me what I have to do one more time, I'm going to lose it. Uh, let me through, thank you. Silver star? I want a gold star, I don't want, I don't want a silver star, silver star is lame. Pick up a battery, yes, 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 yes. Duh. Eh. Just help me get to Bonnie before she and her mother I know, for the love of God. How many times are you going to remind me? There have to be batteries somewhere. This is quite the... I, I did not... Let's just think about this. Su Sunnyside's playground seems far more sophisticated than I remember it being from Toy Story 3. But I suppose it's all in the kids' imagination, so we'll, we'll let it slide. We'll let it slide. I guess, I guess it also does call into question as to whether... Whether the whole prickle pants being a uh, family toy thing is just is uh what's it is, is just oh oh my god we're tr okay what all right I guess now we're doing Toy Story one well bullseye can keep up with the plane about to take off so I th I'm pretty sure this is fat I'm pretty sure bullseye is still faster than this like I, I feel like we're actually moving rather slowly I, I'm I'm holding down right trigger I am holding down right trigger. As much as you can hold down a, a trigger on a controller, 
And again, I, I question I question how effective a strategy this is. Because the robot isn't important to Bonnie. It's just, it's Mr. Pricklepants. And Mr. Pricklepants appears to be absolutely nowhere to be found. He's just the guy that we... Oh, ta -ta. oh my god, how did we not fall there? It's just the guy that you give batteries to. But I suppose it'll all work out. Also, I, I, I feel like I'm going in circles now. Am I supposed to actually be doing something? I, f I feel like I'm just driving around in circles. Are we almost there? I, I, I question your assessment of how close we are to the objective. The arrow keeps throwing me off. See, it, it, it looks... Oh, well, so much for that plan. It looks like I'm, I'm supposed to be able to go whatever way I want. It looks like I, I, I'm able to go anywhere that I want to. But then the arrow is kind of giving me mixed signals. Oh, I guess Pricklemons was on my car the whole time. Now what do we Wait, do? the car just stopped? No matter what, do not let go. Oh, uh, alright. Next stop, the airport. Yay, we did it! I beat the win! I, I guess. I, I, I guess I won. I've unlocked a new episode! Airport insecurity! Mr. Parker Pants has been stolen, help rescue him at the airport. Oh joy, I can't wait. That'll be a grand old time. We hung in there and saved Mr. Prickle Pants. Now I call that teamwork. Okay, well I guess we'll quit out to the park since that episode's all done. Great teamwork, teamwork everybody. That was awesome, partner. I play Toy Story with you anytime. Just come back if you want to play some more. I will, I will say that there is room to call into question the canonicity. You got a fan who wants to try out a new idea for an adventure with you. There is room to call into question the canonicity of Mr. Perkman's being a family toy, since it is technically just the kids imagining things, but... I don't know, he seemed to say it with some level of confidence. Oh well. Alright, I guess now we're going to Toy Story 2 land. Airport insecurity. I do like that it is actually telling its own story, and it's not just doing a beat for beat retread of the movies because. Hi, my name's Roger, and you're just in time. I'm about to blast off on a new Toy Story mission. Ready? I'm Buzz Lightyear. Let's pretend we're riding on the back of Bonnie's mom's car. Then when we get to the airport, Al is there from the toy bar. He's on his way to a toy museum in Japan. And he sees this awesome, one-of-a-kind, and really valuable hedgehog toy. So he grabs Mr. Pricklepants, puts him in his bag, and sends the bag to the airplane. Now we've got to find Mr. Pricklepants before they put him on that plane to Japan. To Al's suitcase, and beyond! <laughs> Alright, let's go. We have to hurry. We're running out of time to save our friend. Smash, wait, smash X? Okay, smashing X, going faster on slides, cool. Effort is inspiring. Frankly, I'm a little choked up. This control's a bit weirdly, but it's alright. As I was saying, I'm, I'm glad they're actually doing their own thing with the story, and they're not just, I mean, clearly they're, they're slicing together bits and pieces of all the different stories. But hey, that's better than doing a beat for beat retread of any of the one movies individually, because any, almost any time, games try a move a movie based video games try to do that it almost always fails miserably so yeah i'm i'm happy with with this so far although i i, I am starting to realize that maybe the the, the game's title rush might have should have given me an indication of what exactly this game is all about it's just it's basically a speed run to the end but hey it's a platforming speed run so that's fine with me i will happily accept a platforming speed run because platforming is fun and cool and good for you smashing X fast as I can you can't catch me I'm the weird cameraman I suppose see now and hey you know what maybe maybe they told me that I could sprint at the beginning of the level and I just missed it maybe that happened I'll, I'll give the game then for the doubt and I just didn't see it but I, I only saw it towards the very end of the level which made things very inconvenient for me you go down the slide down the slide oh it's funny I was just about to ask Hey, 
Are, are we gonna have to throw more batteries at things? The answer is no, but uh, uh, in its place. In its place, we're throwing balls at buttons. Here, you know, I'll say this much. If, if we get to actually recreate the ending of Toy Story, the phenomenal payoff of Woody's finest... Okay, I guess we can't do Woody's finest hour because Woody's not here. But if we have to do this, the whole... Like, if, if, uh, the plane's chasing us, we have to swing down underneath it. That'd be cool. Because... The toys, the actual Toy Story 2 video game, I'm pretty sure doesn't actually let you do that. I'm pretty sure it's just a battle against Zerg robots or something like that, or Al I don't know. It's something weird. They have to fight against inside the airplane instead of actually being able to do the do the thing from Toy Story 2. Oh, I need to get a wait. Why would I grab that ball? There's plenty of balls much closer. Not today. Not today, Zerg. You okay? That did not hit that button, but. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. Are we already in the air? Oh. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, sorry, all of you people. That's what you get for flying Southwest Airlines, I guess. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Ow. Okay. Well, we're not recreating. We're not recreating Woody's Finest Hour, but we're doing something equally awesome instead. How big are these goddamn boxes? Oh my Jesus Christ. What do you people pack on this plane? Brought your entire house with you, apparently. Good Lord Almighty. Okay. You know? Something tells me we're not... Oh, you know what? Okay, well, we probably won't be creating the ending of Toy Story 2. But we might end up cre recreating the ending of Toy Story 1 where... Buzz grabs us and we fly to infinity and beyond. Because otherwise, I don't see how the hell we survive this. Otherwise, I do not know how in the world we are going to survive this. Although it appears I might not be able to actually catch up. We're getting dangerously close to the ground, and I don't appear to be getting any closer to Prickle Pants. Okay, okay, good. It cuts. It cuts. Cool. Okay, Th these graphics are less than stellar. Oh, lame! Lame! Boo! Boo! Lame! Lame! We had an opportunity to do the, the thing from the end of Toy Story 1 where Buzz grabbed us and we flew off to infinity and beyond. Instead we just do the hang glider thing from Toy Story 3. Lame! Boo! Boo! Oh well. That was still fun. I think the first level was better. But th this was still... This was still a, a grand old time. Escape the city, dump, and get to Bonnie's grandmother's house. And I take it we'll be playing as Jesse next time, since that appears to be the how that little progression bar is structured. Our mission with Mr. Pants is complete. Okay, cool. By the way, I'm sure I'm missing plenty. Great in a crisis. And anytime you want to play Toy Story again, just come find me. The engineering and design they did for this park is awesome. My mom's an engineer who makes planes, and she says she's never seen anything like it. What you need is a new mission. One of the kids has one for you, I think. Did I not get a silver medal for my first level? I thought I did. Maybe I didn't. I'll, 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 I'll double check. I could have sworn I got a... I guess I can't really see. But I thought I got a silver medal... I guess is, is that not what the what the silver ball means that the silver ball means you got a silver medal I guess not anyway what I was gonna say is that I'm sure I'm missing plenty of plenty plenty of achievements uh, along the way but don't worry we're not we're not going for 100% of this 50 achievements in this game we're not going for 100% achievement run. we're just going for a casual first playthrough and we will finish with a dump escape let's go back to Toy Story 3 land Takes a bit longer to load in than I thought. Who the cat dragged in? I've heard all about you. Let's play us some Toy Story. Woohoo! Now I'll be Jesse. What if Bonnie's grandma missed her flight? So there's still a chance to get home to Bonnie before Grandma gets there. And all those toys are flying on our kites.
but the wind grabs Mr. Prickle Pants and pulls them right over the garbage dump. We gotta land safely. Get out and get back to Bonnie's house before Grandma arrives. Hang on, Mr. Prickle Pants. We're coming for you. Oh, you're gonna make me fly? Oh, you're gonna make me fly. All right, you know what? Credit where credit's due. I, I am actually really happy that the game is letting us fly through the dump from Toy Story 3, because you you could technically play through the dump in the, the actual Toy Story 3 video game, and it's a great level. The, the level where you're in the dump is really, really fun, but it doesn't look anything like it does in the actual movie. You can see the incinerator in the background. It's like a JPEG in the background of the level. But it doesn't list. It does not look anything like this in the movie. This actually looks. I mean, it's still not, it's obviously still not exactly the same. But at least aesthetically, in terms of layout, it, it appears much more similar to how it does in the movie. So that's that's nice. And it, it does. It does actually feel like just people who love Toy Story got together and they wrote a fan fiction based off of everything they could think of in the movies. Except they missed some key payoff moments there. Like I don't know, having Buzz. Like I guess. I guess the reason why they didn't do that is because. If they had Buzz go to infinity and beyond, then they couldn't. Um. Oh yeah, sure. That that's that. Yeah, that's exactly how that. Uh oh 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 oh. The the book. Jesse, give me another thing. Jesse, Jesse, Jesse. I don't know, Jesse. Maybe you get through me the damn thing. We could have gotten out of here by now, Jesse. Jesse, thank you. Much obliged. So I was gonna say, as I guess if they had Buzz fly to Infinity and Beyond, they couldn't have, they couldn't swap him out for Jesse. Oh, I can sidestep. Oh. Oh, I mean, technically, it's it's not anything more complicated than what I was what I was already doing. I was I was using the left stick to sidestep, but you can apparently use the triggers to sidestep too. That's weird. Anyway, they, they couldn't have subbed out Jesse, but I don't know. Do you, do, given it's all in the kid's imagination, do I really care whether it's still Buzz or not? I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, give me that. I, I can see. I can see daylight. We're gonna be okay. Ha ha ha. I don't think that's daylight. Oh, that's a lot more claws. You already said that line. Well, well I mean, I, I didn't hear you say that already, Prickle Pants. But you know, the subtitles told me that you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of this is automated, for, for what it's worth. A lot, a lot of the like every, almost every platforming scene like that is just mash A to win, and the, the throwing. There was no aiming at, at required at all for those throwing batteries and balls and things at the the various targets but it's still a very fun time and yeah it is like I said it is really cool to be able to actually explore these environments Do -do -do. hold yes I know okay give me give me that I don't know what these silver coins are actually doing but I'm grabbing them anyway because I, I I've convinced myself that maybe oh sure I I didn't know that was how that was gonna work but it, it went exactly as it went exactly as the prophets foretold. Oh, this again. This again, huh? Okay. No, Jess. We need to focus on stopping ourselves from being shredded. Oh my God, that was just a bad jump. That is not what the subtitles say. That just. Is not what the subtitles say. I'm, I hate to break it to you. The subtitles are lined. Yeah, see, like right there. I was clearly aiming way off to the left in a different in a different game level, but it, they decided that actually it was spot on accurate. So that's something. Alright, this this level is not grabbing me the same way the first two did, just because the uh, it's definitely repeating a bit more than it did previously, and. In a, in a game that seems to be all about just go, 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 rush to the end as fast as you can, 
stopping it dead in its tracks to like I, I guess I didn't like the battery thing in the first level either but at least at least there was some puzzle solving elements there in terms of opening the door and getting through it and there was still it was still a fast-paced platform challenge and it wasn't literally stopping the game dead in its tracks to wait an agonizing amount of time for Jesse to throw the thing toward you also see that time prickle pants subtitles didn't even play at all which is weird don't hit me thank you and there's a lot more claws here than there were in Toy Story 3. Alright, right, so they only needed one to get the job done. But still. Oh! I guess I wasn't allowed to go that way. I guess that way was off limits to me. Sure. Oh, keep rolling. I'm not feeling so good. Can we get out of here? You know, Jesse, you keep saying that. Seemingly unaware that you are the reason we're still playing this level. We could have been out of here a long time ago if you didn't take three years to throw each battery toward me. And we win. Somehow. Yay! We made it! Now we just hang on to get to Bonnie's house. Grandma! You got here! Oh, I did. How's my good? somebody in my room who's gonna be extra happy to see you! Just in the nick of time! And we sure couldn't have done it without you! Is Jesse doing the chicken dance? Whatever. Alright, so that was definitely the weakest level of the three. Man, I just can't get above a silver, can I? A new special ability! Missiles! Play all episodes and use your missiles to break stuff and find your secret areas. Oh, that's cool. That's actually really cool. So I, I guess the, the more you play the levels, the more secrets, the more abilities you get, and the more secrets you're gonna unlock. That's... That's, that's neat. Is it, partner? Well, I sure would like to play again sometime. Just come find me. Happy trails! You couldn't have made like the achievement. Horses, Cause I like horses, and you look like the kind of person who likes horses. Yeah, see now I'm just confused. Cause that's def the, the, the the silver definitely means silver medal. So Where I definitely go? got one you for the first level. All three of the biggest Toy Story fans. Don't think you're finished with them though. They have plenty more to show you. I I have played every episode in the Toy Story world. Cool. Thank you for playing Rush. Oh my God! You're asking me to write this. Oh, p no! Stop! What? This, this isn't a mobile game. Jesus! Like, that, like it's a, that's actually a mobile game thing right there. Halfway through, you're playing a thing pops up telling you, "Write this up." Uh -huh. the, the rating comes in the form of this YouTube let's play. Is what we're doing. Anyway, that's neat. That that I assume as you unlock more secret abilities, you can go back through all the levels and find more secret areas. That's a cool. That that's that's a nice replay value. I I, I approve of that. And I'm sure there's an achievement you can get for doing hopscotch. In fact, let me give it a shot. One, two, three. It's the biggest hopscotch board you'll ever see. Achievement? No achievement. Name. Name! Alright, well that was the Toy Story World. Uh... <laughs> okay. You be pushing or nothing, but if you like cars, you're gonna love this. Do you mean the world that you're not standing in front of? Cars is over there. Not over there. Oh, well, anyway. Uh, I guess initial impressions of the t of this game. It's fun. It's nothing groundbreaking, nothing spectacular, but it's just a fun time. I I, I enjoyed that overall. I, I I think the levels got worse as they went on, but over it's overall I still give it a positive rating. Even in spite of its technical... Like, what what is that running animation? And what is that? That... It, I... Whatever. I don't. I that that is. That is <laughs> Add, clip just clip this out of context, and it looks a bit worse. But yeah, that was a fun time. Uh, what do we do next? Should we should we just go around clockwise? Go Incredibles, Ratatouille, Finding Dory, Cars. And then we finish with Up. Do I want to finish with Up? I don't want to finish with Up. Maybe maybe do counterclockwise. Go Up, Cars, Finding Dory, Ratatouille, Incredibles. That that was like a better order, right? That we fit it, we end with the Incredibles. That that seems like a, a good way to finish out on. 
Of course, I say that. For all I know, the Incredibles levels could be crap and the up levels could be the best thing in the world. But based purely on the movies, better to finish with the Incredibles. Anyway, that'll be it for now. Let me know what you thought of this, if you've played it or if you've just seen this Let's Play. Let me know what you think of this game, what you've seen so far. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next time. I hope to catch you all tomorrow with some more Rush, a Disney Pixar adventure. Goodbye.